Okay, next part in this chapter is about reciprocal of trigonometric function. So basically, the reciprocal of trigonometric functions are cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Okay, remember cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So cosecant uh, is uh, in short is cosecant c o s e c cosecant s over sine of x so you just remember um the third letter of this of this word is corresponding to the this trigo function so the third letter is s right so it is sine so one over sine x so for Second, the third letter is C, so it is cos, so it's equal to one over cos sine x. Okay, so for cotangent, the third letter is T, so it's uh, referring to tangent, so one over tangent x. So easy for you to remember. Cosecant is one over sine, secant is one over cosine, cotangent is one over tangent. Okay, so this is a uh, very fast the graph of secant. So it looks like this. Okay, because secant is one over cosine, right? So cos. So for cosine, it start at this um, axis, y axis. Okay, <clears throat> and then it goes for um, next cycle. Okay, and then this is the graph for cosecant. So for cosecant is one over sine. Okay, so for sine graph, it start at the origin, right? Okay, so this is for graph of cosecants. Okay, one over sine theta. Okay, this is for cotangent. So cotangent is one over tangent. So as we know that for tangent graph, so it start at the origin zero and then it goes to um the next cycles okay until it stop here okay at pi and then it repeat the cycles okay look at this example uh, by using the calculator to uh, you have to find to two decimal places the value of this data uh, angle okay so it's given at second 85 degrees so as we know secant is 1 over cosine okay so 1 over cosine 85 degrees just press calculator straight away you get this value okay make sure it is two two decimal places same goes to the uh, as another example cos secant 2 to 0 which is 1 over sine 2 to 0 so the last one is cotangent negative 70 degrees so Cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. So 1 over tangent negative 70 degrees. So you get this value. Okay, next example. Find the exact value of cosecant pi over 6. Okay. So cosecant is 1 over sine, right? So 1 over sine pi over 6. Okay. So 1 over sine pi over 6. So since sine pi over 6 is equal to 1 over 2 so cosecant is equal to 1 over 1 over 2 so which is equal to 2 okay the second one a uh, cotangent to pi over 3 so cotangent is 1 over tangent so 1 over tangent to pi over 3 Okay, there are um, another few examples uh, under reciprocal trigonometric functions. So, I hope that you can refer to the lecture notes for another examples that um, involve reciprocal of trigonometric functions. Okay, next part is about trigonometric identities. So, this is the basic identities that you all should know. The first one is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to 1. The second one is tangent 2 theta plus 1 equal to second squared theta. And the third one is 1 plus cotangent squared, cotangent squared theta equal to cosecant squared theta. 
so all these three this is the basic identities and how it derived uh, is you don't need to know but you can learn on how it derived just for your knowledge okay okay look at this example so basically in trigonometric identities you have to show you have to prove uh, for the equations so for this kind of question you have to show that this expression at the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so for the left hand side is equal to tangent x over 1 minus second square x so you have to remember the identities so for uh, second square x is actually equal to tangent square x plus 1 okay and then you sub into this expression at the denominator so you get 1 minus tangent square x minus 1 so numerator is a uh, copy again the same thing tangent x so here 1 minus 1 you get 0 so what is left is minus tangent square x at the denominator so now tangent x divided by tangent square x you get 1 over negative tangent x so look at, at the right hand side is negative cotangent x right so cotangent is also equal to 1 over tangent so here is negative 1 over tangent x meaning that left hand side now is same as right hand side so basically um, trigonometric identities questions is some things like this you have to prove you have to show then you have to sub the identities into the expression given so make sure the left hand side is equal to the right hand side okay next part is about addition formula so this one also known as compound angle formula so this uh, kind of identities okay so this why uh, we call as addition formula so those three uh, basic identities that uh, you should know so this is another addition identities that you also should uh, learn okay so for the first two is for sine for sine function if let's say at the left hand side is positive and at the right hand side had at the right hand side also is positive so you just need to remember it is positive and positive okay and the expression the expression is sine and cosine and the cosine and sine meaning that it mix with sine and cosine so for sine minus the operation of minus so at the right hand side also is minus for cosine is difference when cosine the positive here at the left hand side at the right hand side is opposite sine so it is minus same goes to minus here so it is opposite is uh, at the right hand side is opposite sign which is plus but the expression involve let's say for cosine it involve a cosine plus so it involve cosine and cosine and then minus sine and sine for cosine minus this one is minus cosine and cosine and then plus sine and sine meaning that for cosine family um, it only be friends with its own family mean that cosine and cosine and sine with sine is different with a sine function so for sine function is be friends with sine and cosine okay so you got what it means easy for you to remember okay for tangent is this this formula um basically all these identities will be given in your exam okay it's just that you have to be familiar with love with this kind of identities as well okay look at this example use the identity for sine a plus b to find the exact value of sine 75 degrees so it's already mentioned to use this identity sine a plus b it's not fair to mention here right okay never mind so we don't know the exact value of 75 degrees but we do know we do know the sine and cosine of 30 degrees and 45 degrees meaning that 30 degrees plus 45 degree is equal to 75 degrees 
so we know sin 30 degrees plus 45 degrees okay is equal to use the addition formula whereby for sine this is sine a plus b because it's already mentioned here sine a plus b so sine 30 degrees plus 45 degree is equal to remember for sine it be friends with um, with cosine as well okay so sine 30 degrees times cosine 45 degree and then plus because at the left hand side is plus okay so plus cosines the t degree times sine 45 degree okay and we know that uh, for sine the t degree sine 45 degree and cosine 45 degree and cosine the t degree of that co um soka okay soka okay from that uh, pythagoras theorem okay and then you will find the value of uh, sine 75 degree which is equal to this one uh. okay and i want you to go through another example in the lecture notes as well under addition formula so there are few examples attached okay so you can study as well this um, question Okay, the last one is about the double angle formula. Okay, so this is the last part in this chapter. So basically, we use this addition formula to derive formula involve sine 2a, cosine 2a, tangent 2a. Okay, so look at these identities. Okay, so you are given sine 2a. So sine 2a also equal to 2 sine a cosine a okay for cosine 2a is equal to cosine square a minus sine square a cosine 2a equal to 2 cosine square a minus 1 cosine 2a equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a and this is for tangent okay Mm, you may think, wow, there's a lot of formula that you have to remember, right? No need to, rem no need to worry. All those identities will be given in the exam. But then you have to be familiar with, like, as what I said before, like uh, for sine, it consists of um, sine and cosine. So cos 2a this is difference uh, it is a square okay when it involve a cosine function of the double angle formula double because it's two okay look at here is two coefficient of two so for cosines is involve um, a square square function okay okay so for tangent is as usual this is over okay but divided by uh, expression all right so look at the first uh, example of double angle formula and i want you to go through another example this is attached in the lecture notes okay look at the first uh, example of double angle formula you have to prove okay again you have to prove left hand side is equal to the right hand side Okay, see at the left hand side, this contains of sine 2x over 1 plus cos sine 2x. Okay, so now it involves double, double angle formula. So sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos sine x. 2 sine x cos sine x over 1 plus, this is cos sine 2x, right? So cos sine 2x equal to cosine square x minus sine square x okay and then you just sub cosine to x okay or it's uh it can be used another two expressions so it depends on uh the expression given okay so 
to make sure at the right hand side also same as the left hand side so now for this answer is using cosine 2x is equal to 2 cosine square x minus 1 2 cosine square x minus 1 okay and then when you solve uh, this expression so the last one you get sine over cosine meaning that it is equal to tangent so tangent at the left hand side so at the right hand side is tangent x so meaning that left hand side is same as right hand side so it's proven now that is how you prove um, the expression for left and right hand side by using double angle formula that involves double angle formula okay so with that i finish for the lecture 3 video so i hope that uh, you will study the rest of the example given in the lecture notes okay thank you so much